Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing part 3 of checking out all of my custom objects in Universe Sandbox. So this will be the final part now, the finale, we're moving on to the final set of objects. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get cracking. So, we last finished, if I remember correctly, it was after... Where are we? Where did I just have a look? It was after this object here, Why is uh, 1828... So, we're now moving on to the elemental objects. Let's go ahead and uh, get those guys placed in. So, let's go ahead and move down here quickly. So, the rainbow, uh, a very strange looking world there. Um, but yes, so the world of wind, we'll start with that. The world of darkness. The world of earth and dirt. The world of electricity. The world of energy. The world of fire. The world of ice. The world of light. And the world of water at the end. So there you go. There's all of those guys. And the world of weather as well. Let's put that one there. Smaller object. Uh, then we've got Zeogenesis. This must be some sort of gas world, I'm guessing. Yep. Then we've got Zane B's Gleaser 436B. Got loads of those Gleaser 436. We've got a Triton as well. Uh, this object here, I'm guessing this is a very old one. I don't recognise this one at all. Uh, Zcario. This used to be a giant rocky planet. I think it's a gas giant now. It is. Okay. Uh, we got Shardox here, another another gas giant. Uh, Zimbabwe, let's put that one there. That was a nice coloured one. Sobo, put you there. Astana, so one of the another gas giant. And then we got the Banded collection, so they're all just named Banded. And these are the ones with the pretty crazy bands. Let's go ahead and just place them all. We got one. We got ten, eleven. Oh, hang on. Twelve, thirteen. 14. Some of these are absolutely crazy levels of bands as well. 16, 17, 18, 19. Then we've got 2. It's annoying it doesn't, it, the way it calculates it. It goes from 1, 10, 11 to 19. It goes 2, 20. Yeah, it's a bit annoying it does that, the way it calculates the numbers, but oh well. Uh, so we've got, yeah, 20, 21. 22. And these are just a massive collection of gas shots I collected from you guys probably over the years, actually. I haven't really updated the list in quite a while, if I'm honest, though. Uh, but there it is. That yellow and black one, that bumblebee one there, that's been there a long time. That's one of the oldest ones. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and continue placing that one there. Some of these have got a lot of colours as well, as you can see. Some of these are absolutely insane levels of uh, customization put into these. Some of these are like thousands of bands. So... It's a pretty berserk. There you go, some more there. I think this is one of the Valentine's ones there, that pink and red one. Got a more natural looking gas giant, possibly. Then we've got a very unrealistic, very deep purple one. So there you go, some larger ones. Very giant magenta, we've got 39, got four. We've got 40, 41. It's got absolutely loads of them. This one here, I think this one I just placed, that one had an insane amount of bands. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, look how many bands that has. It's pretty bizarre. But we'll, we'll go through all these gas giants uh, once we've placed them all properly. But there you are. So well, those two are very similar, aren't they? Just try and stuff as many of them in there as we can. <laughs> so there you go. Looking good. I used to have ones for every single colour, but I think I deleted those because they were kind of pointless after they added the uh, customisable colours in, so... Yeah, we got rid of them a long time ago now. There you go, let's get those all moved in there. Okay, cool. So, right, where are we? So, 49, we are at 49, weren't we? So, banded 5. That's one of the Christmas ones, we've got 50. So, we quite the list of these. 52, 53, then we have 6, let me put that one there, there, 6, 7, 8, and 9, there were the lime green ones from that episode a long time ago, and then lastly, it's the stars, the custom stars, so mainly used for size comparisons, we'll go ahead and spawn those in, so we've got the old cypher, these are the very, uh, very, very bright, oh my god, what has happened there, oh my god, I haven't even... Oh my. Has everyone just gone to extremely high temperatures? I only placed the star in. That's how glitched out this star was. Oh my god. Well, that's uh, 
that's not particularly good. I was having a, I was thinking placing the stars may be a bad idea, and that is why. Look at that. So even just placing the star in in a poor simulation has done that. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. They're all glowing hot. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll go back and uh, put the rocky planets together at the end. But um, let's continue. So we had um, these stars. So we had the cipher stars. So these were stars with just stupidly high luminosities. And I'm guessing they completely break simulations even if they're paused. Then we've got the smallest star. Smallest red dwarf there. And then a lot of these are just literally used for size comparison videos. They have no other purpose. Um, so there you go. Kepler-22. Again, these are all just stars. We've got Mega R136A1. So, pretty insane. Melnick 34. Okay, another giant star. That's a smaller one, isn't it? There it is. Um, again, another red super giant there. We've got the pistol star. The custom pistol star with its nice light, light blue colour. Quasi star, obviously. The hyperfical object there. Hypothetical. Um, we've got the carbon star. We've got the red giant sun. Got the other yellow, one of the yellow hyper giants there. Uh, then we've got Shoemaker Levy 9. So, yeah, we'll see one of the... Um, Comets hit Jupiter, so that's obviously tiny in there. Stephen Hawking star. We've got the custom Steverson before they added it into the game, so I still got that. Tabby star. Again, really small. We've got Tea Garden star. The star called the car. There we go. That one was in a simulation somewhere. Another red supergiant. Westerland again, another red supergiant, hypergiant, white dwarf. Yeah, that's a nice small little object there. And then we've got the custom, the really crazy custom ring objects, so. Probably not the best place to place them because I can't really see them if I'm honest. There you go. You got one of them there. That one has um. This was one where they uh, the rings were coloured. But yeah, they're very very glitchy. Those guys are. But um, let's press play. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Having the stars in here is not a good idea, is it? <laughs> we'll collide them properly without the stars to interfere. But oh yeah, that is just a. Oh my god. Bang! I can't even move. Yeah, that's... Uh, oh, there's another one going off. Oh, my God. Look at the state of that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty insane. Let's get out of here. So we're going to have to replace all those objects again. So I'll be back if we guys want to replace all the planets. Okay, everyone. So all the planets are back down now. So all we have to do now to finish off is the basically the asteroids... And then the very mysterious ring objects. So now uh, it's a lot darker without all those stars near. And I can actually place in the ring objects. So here they are here. Now the original one. So the white one there. That was extracted from a very old test simulation in the game. I don't think you can access it anymore. But if you go back to probably update 16. There was a simulation with Saturn that had this ring around it. So I saved a copy of this ring. And effectively this ring is basically an unused asset in the game. It was never developed. But the object does still exist if you saved it. And that's what I did. Um, and then there's also a custom modded version of it here. Um, with the rainbow effect added to it. Again, the same thing though. It's very strange and glitchy. But yeah, it, is, it does have a physical radius and stuff. And you can place planets in the middle. So effectively Saturn would, would have once been able to fit inside, inside this like this. So the simulation had Saturn in it. I, I remember it. Yeah. The simulation had Saturn with this ring thing around it. Um, and it, I'm guessing it was some sort of a possible potential for rings to be solid instead of like um, particle base rings. But they obviously never uh, developed that in the game. But it's still uh, still interesting to have this sort of piece of history, really, uh, of this ring object that um, yeah, doesn't truly exist. It's a very strange uh, thing. So they had that and then you got this other ring. They disappear like, when you put planets around them. It's so strange. Um, these things, but yeah, I'm guessing they were something that were in very early development and they never got finished. Um, so yeah, they're, they're a bit of a mystery, those. I mean, the true meaning behind them is unknown, but that's my theory, is they were some kind of physical ring object that would have been less laggy for uh, computers and stuff, for specific uh, devices. Um, so yeah, pretty uh, pretty strange. And then, um, yeah, next up, lastly, it's basically just um, the little asteroids. So, I don't even know, can I even place that? It's so small. Got Charlico there, which is that little object between uh, Saturn and Uranus's orbits. Is it gonna let me place it? Oh yeah, there we go. So they're all they're all very small. So we've got that one. We've got Comet Hail Bob. Um, Dacty here. That's a really small asteroid. But yeah, they're all these are all just little asteroids. I don't really use them much. We've got Gen Four. I think this is like some little object with a star texture on it. 
that's broken completely now. That's a shame. Uh, we got the Great Pyramids. Well, the one of them has that rainbow effect on it, which is pretty cool. Look at this. I remember Casper made this a long time ago. It's got the rainbow effect on it, this pyramid. So, pretty cool. Rainbow colour bricks. <laughs> so, there it is there. Hyperion. Again, another one of these. IC1101. Obviously, giant black hole. I'm not going to place that in. Asteroid Ida. So, again, pretty straightforward. Another asteroid. The Mr. Spock asteroid. Uh, we've got another one called OK here. I think that's something with that weird texture on it as well. And lastly, it's literally just black holes. So, again, these are all just going to cover the whole map up. So, I'm not going to place those in uh, there. Then we got the giant jack-o'-lantern from years ago. We've got the giant eight ball. And then just some more black holes. So, that literally is my entire object list. So, what do you guys think of that? It's pretty, uh, pretty mad. What is this? Is this one broken? Yeah, that's broken as well. But, yeah, that's pretty much the whole list. So, what do you think of that? Oh, my. It's absolutely insane. Look at all that. So that's basically the whole list. I mean, apart from the stars and stuff, because we don't want to really place those in, because that's not a good idea. As you saw, it instantly melted everything, so pretty mad. Uh, what, what was our uh, simulation count then? So we've got um, 559 objects, minus the stars and black holes. So yeah, I'm probably sitting at almost 600 custom objects, actually, which is pretty insane. So there you go. There is the list. But all that's left to do now is uh, we've got to press play. I know a lot of people were calling for it, and honestly, I'm obliged to that request, because I want to do it as well. So, this is going to be probably one of the biggest collisions you'll ever see out of custom objects, because this is a huge, huge list of stuff here. I mean, oh yeah. So, who's ready for this? Because this is going to be absolutely crazy. Um, this is probably, All this material is probably going to form into a star, I'm guessing. And then we're going to get some supernovas, because the brown dwarfs are probably large enough to become stars already. So this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. I mean, where do we start? Let's uh, press slow it down really fast here, because things are going to get shredded real quick. So, who's ready? Let's go on a three, two, one, go. Press play. Oh, God, here we go. I've slowed down. We'll slow down time. Try and get all the action... There's a supernova already! Already! There's already been something that this doesn't like. Oh dear. Oh my god. Absolute carnage. Look at the state of this. I'm just actually going to delete that because we don't want it to cover up the whole screen. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> there's even more. Oh my god. We're going to delete that as well. <laughs> there's too many particles. Oh, here we go. Okay. Is it going to let us run? It's very, it's very laggy. Oh my god. Let's try to speed up time a bit. But this is absolute madness. Look at all those colliding. There's already problems going on everywhere. This is crazy stuff. It's those brown dwarf gas objects. They're the things that are causing the supernovas, I'm guessing. They're colliding with each other, causing chaos. Let's try to speed up time a bit more. How fast can we go? Oh, they're all moving. Oh! Whoa! <gasps> oh! <laughs> what was that? There's nothing left! Oh my god! Whoa! Is that it? Is everyone just gone? 17,000 objects. Oh my god. There's only one object left. So something just exploded on everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's madness. Oh my god. That's absolutely crazy. Well, I was expecting supernovas and stuff, I have to say. But let's see if we... If I remove the high mass objects, let's see if we can have a better collision. So let's get all these giant things out of here. So the quasi gas... All the gases have got to go because they weigh too much. They create supernovas. So let's try and remove those. Because they're the things causing supernovas. Um, get rid of all the... I'm just going to get rid of all the brown dwarfs because they contain way too much mass. Which is going to cause a lot of problems. Let's try again. Slow down time. Press play. And we hopefully get a little more... A little more action rather than just supernovas everywhere. So here we go. Hopefully everyone will collide a little bit. You see the rocky planets are going at it now. Down at the bottom there. Oh my god, it's still absolutely madness. Let's try to speed up quicker. Oh, there's so much going on. Look at all this. <laughs> oh, there's all the coloured deluxe objects in the middle there. All the dust, the deluxe objects. Oh, they're all merging together. Oh man, that is a lot of masses. I mean, even out of all these, there's probably a lot of Jupiter mass. There's a supernova already. Let's just get rid of it. Control D. Go away. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. 
Oh, we were actually getting a little more action, though, compared to before, though. At least we've actually seen some uh, collisions. Without the supernovas just ruining everything. So there you go, but... We'll see all those giant objects collide. That's a lot of Jupiter masses. You're getting a bit of an overload of mass, so... Oh, yeah. At least we can actually run it properly and actually watch it, so that's quite good. But there you go, all the rocky stuff. It's all merging into the gas giants. I mean, it's pretty obvious they're going to take it. Is that a star? That was a star. <laughs> Something turned into a star there. It's another star. That's going to go as well, surely. That object there, whatever that is, that's a star at the moment. Oh, my. look at this. We have to go to tools. I think we're going to have to... um. Zero velocities here. Oh, get rid of that. Oh, everyone's just meta melting away. Uh, we need to zero velocity everything because um, they're going to fly away otherwise. There's no escape. Everyone has got to collide until one object stands. So, there you go. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my God. It's absolute madness. It is chaos. One of the carbon planets is still going. This one here is doing pretty well. Halt velocities. It's all going to crash together. No one's allowed to escape. What's that there? Is that a black hole? That's not a black hole, is it? I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. But it looks like this may be our winner here. Everything else has dissolved other than maybe... Is that actually a black hole? I'm not... I think it, it is. We have a black hole that's formed out of all that. Oh, my God. What is that all about? Oh, dear. Is that all just going to suck it all up now? Hole of velocity. It's all going to collide together. All the clouds. Uh, so the black hole is just going to consume everything then. Ah. <laughs> Control D. So all it's left is... Oh, so this survived as well. There's two. It's just this versus the... Uh... Oh, yeah. So they're on a collision course, I'm guessing. You can see them both there. So Holt Velocity. So uh, who's going to win out of these two? I'm guessing the black hole should have an easy win here. Or is it? Come on, we want to see them come together. Actually, we'll just go to chart mode. That works. Slow it down. Make live. Close that. Is it just that left? Oh, the black hole is still in it. Right, so what happens if we press play now? It's the final two objects out of all of this. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> right. Is that going to go in? Go and collide. We all need to collide. Go, go, go. Are they going to do it? Make live. I don't know if they want to. We are on chart mode, aren't we? Yeah. Make live. <laughs> well, I don't think they want to collide. Looks like they're just chilling. Yeah. Uh, they don't want to do it. If you just manually collide it. Nah, that's not going to do it, is it? Ah. <laughs> Oh, you know why? It's because they're actually they are actually split up still. That's why they're not colliding. The make live button doesn't work. Okay, so we've got two uh, two objects that made it out alive out of all those six hundred almost objects. So there you go. Those guys are all that's left. But that collision was pretty insane. So let us know what you think of that down below in the comments. But yeah, that all said and done, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this three-part series of checking out all my custom objects. I Honestly, I need to do a lot of housekeeping because it is such a mess, that menu. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And with that all said and done, everybody, hope you all enjoyed. Let's see if we can go for 200 likes on today's video as well. And make sure you subscribe. Helps on a journey to 40,000 subscribers, everybody. Really appreciate all your support. And with that all said and done, everyone, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.